that particular piece, the Pompeii couple, was is is directly from an encaustic from. A, uh, I guess they were, you know, it's from Herculaneum, and um, they were um, burial pictures. I think they were burial pictures. I'm not sure, but nonetheless, uh, looking at that uh, is almost haunting. And so when I decided to make a sculpture of that, I wanted to sort of uh, give it back a three-dimensional life. And um, in that case, it seemed to work. So it's not a direct imitation, but it's an interpretation. The, what we see now as the past has uh, a certain patina and also a certain... Um, uh, uh, it's, it, existed, it exists because of subtraction, because there's a lot of other stuff around it that got thrown out, and whatever it was that we look at has remained. And so we use it, we call that great, I guess. And it still speaks to us. If it still speaks to us, then it's great. There's no other way to get to the present but through the past. And, uh, um, uh, but I think every artist, or most artists that I know, uh, try to uh, connect to the past because if you connect to the past, it kind of um, not only supports you, but it, it uh, you know, it's, it's the umbilical cord that you are kind of responsible to. There's nothing new. There's nothing, absolutely nothing new.